so today's video uh, is quite heartbreaking it's an expose of jamal bryant and also how prophet lobius is actually coming into that picture and later on you'll also be seeing a uh, prophet lovi alias himself uh, making a confession and saying that he is a partaker of the grace that is in pastor jamal bryant and also calling jamal bryant he's a big bro that means they have a relationship and it's quite quite close so the way i've prepared this video is actually going to be in two parts uh, the first part is going to be about uh, pastor jamal bryant and uh, just looking at the exposés and the scandals and everything that he's been in. And then the second part is now where uh, Prophet Lovi Elias is going to come in and how he actually connects to all this. So just watch this video with a very open mind, just very open mind. You know, I know, I understand that some of you guys have taken these people to be like your gods, but yo, before you start hating on the comment section, just watch this with an open mind. And then later on, you, you're open to share your side, uh, uh, what you think, your opinion. But it will be fair if you watch the whole video. Just watch the two parts. Watch, first of all, the first part about some of the uh, exposés uh, on Pastor Jamal. And then the second part of where now uh, Prophet Lovi comes into the picture and the strange things that he is actually confessing to so uh you'll also get to hear uh celestial prophetess calling out jamal bryant and also calling out lovi elias you'll hear her calling them out and the strange things that actually she's going to be talking about them so I'll, I'm going to try my best not to interrupt this video because I've uh, taken time just to prepare it in a way that uh, it flows. I've tried to add some text in just to make it flow. So I'll try my best not to interfere so that we can have that flow. But where necessary, definitely, I just have to pop in one or two. But uh, before I get into this heartbreaking video, before I get into this heartbreaking video, I'll ask that you do me a favor if you have not yet subscribed i'll kindly request that you hit on that subscribe button hit that subscribe button and also if you are if you are able to share this video i'll urge that you share this video let's get the word out known i'm telling you this video is quite something but it is definitely an eye opener and and uh later on even when you get to hear what uh, the prophetess she's talking about uh, these spirits that go on this kind of ministry and the, the harm that actually they cause to you, you being a partaker or uh, actually in those ministries. So it's quite crazy. So I'll urge that you watch every part of this video. Watch every part because it's all connected. So hit on that like button right there and uh, let's get into the video. You saw the scandals. You sat there. You decided to stick it out with the compromised ministry. The compromised ministry managed to pull itself up through marketing and performance back up, and it's appearing to stand taller than before. This would be New Birth Church. I think that's the name of it. Bishop Eddie Long's church that is now being run by the homosexual Jamal Bryant and his beard wife, whoever she may be. If you sat in a church like that, and the church was rocked by scandal, showing you that God was so angry that he brought a fatal body blow against the head, the thing fell, a lot of people departed, and now it's been remodeled, and once again, the root of gay is upon the stage, and you are still sitting there. So here are some uh, of his exposés. My biggest regret is single-handedly destroying my marriage and uh, the impact that it has had on my daughters uh, and myself in operating in selfishness and not thinking about everybody That's else's good, impact. Man. At the risk of being heretical tonight, might I suggest to you that 85% um, of Jesus' life, he was out of order. Whoa. What? 85% <laughs> of his life, he was doing what he was not called to do. Wow. 
God, y'all done got quiet. For 85% of his life, he was not flowing in his God-given function. Wow. 85% of his life, he is doing what his natural father wanted. But it did not line up with his divine DNA. Wow. For 85% of his life, and he's anointed. He's called, he's chosen, and he's wrong. <laughs> New Birth is the largest land-owning black church in America. Wow. And so my position to my deacons is why aren't we not raising cannabis? I'll be able to bring in black males. They're able to do it legally. Mm -hmm. I'm teaching them farming. Oh my God. I'm helping them to enhance the ecosystem. Uh, th th this is the kind of conversation. So if the guy, black boy in Bankhead said, they grow weed at the church, where do I join? Yes. I don't need no pamphlet for him. Mm. You know I mean? Right, right. <laughs> he coming in. He coming in. And that, that's the group that I'm going after. Mm. Yeah. That's different. Yeah. You're different. How Jamal Bryan is my cousin. Yes, I'm embarrassed of such. <laughs> and there's nothing to publicize. Amen. But they're writing me, Pastor Jennings, did you hear the latest news about your crazy cousin? Yes. Yes, I have. He got over social media publicly and is encouraging his false church to sell weed. That's true. They are willing to buy land to grow cannabis. In other words, they're not letting no opportunity go by if they're going to bring money. This is what a false prophet does. A false prophet is an opportunist. The Bible speaks plain that love of money is the root or the source of all evil. And the Bible declared, while some have coveted after they have erred from the faith or from the truth and have pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Someone said Jamal Bryant will do whatever it takes to get wallets into the building, the social gospel, weed, BBLs. Whatever it takes, he has appointed Dr. Carrie Turner as the co-pastor of New Birth Baptist Church to recognize her ministry credentials. So what happens to other loyal men who have served the ministry and are hoping for a promotion to better serve, but then a girl flaunting fashion on Instagram gets promoted instead? This raises questions about the priorities and values of the church and its leaders. Are superficial traits like beauty and fashion more important than dedication, experience, and true calling to ministry? What message does this send to other aspiring pastors or those already serving in the ministry? Where did you hear it said that Jamal Bryant likes to be with men who are in their youth? So this is 21s, 23s, 25s. He won't go with children. He likes the consciousness of the male that he's with. Where was this said openly for Celestial to copy so that she could gain fame on the back of some of the most sordid funk of this nation? I was just speaking. I was speaking of how they in the brotherhood sodomize old people so here, uh, Jamal Bryan actually uh, did an apology to the LGBT uh, group or community, and that uh, was quite uh, very brought a lot of uproar. So uh, those are some of the exposés or uh, even the scandals that he has been part of. And then you've heard him say that. Um, that Jesus was actually out of order 85 percent think about it he's saying that Jesus was out of order 85 if you call wicked things good just think about it <laughs> you know and and you, you know even just the thought of it it's it's not even adding up because uh, it's showing that it's showing that I don't know I don't know but it's showing that uh, it has come to a time that now the creation 
is trying even to judge now the creator you understand it's trying now to judge the creator yo it's just crazy it's just crazy yo but that is some of the exposés you've seen even the controversial co-pastor and everything now let's listen to the second part where now prophet lovi elias gets into this picture yeah if you call wicked things good and you call good things evil when you call the people africa you are guilty of this when the lord will move a woman or a man to share their testimony that they experienced in real life concerning one of these predatory pastors the way you drag that person the way you hate the people that god has convicted to expose your lovey elieses your ubert angelses your shepherd bushiris your alf lakaus You see these people coming across the sea to kneel down in front of a man like TD Jakes and then you will say they have gone to receive blessings have have they Does the gay mafia give blessings well, I yeah, see so this was the time that Prophet Lovi and Prophet Java were being prayed for I pray God that you would cover them and protect them and guide them. You know, you know one of the issues I always have with uh, Prophet Lovi is his association. I just don't know why he gets associated with people who are how should I put it? They are scandalous, they are they are exposed. I don't know why he gets uh actually associated with them because that one definitely just raises a lot of uh, uh, uh questions. Because his association is just crazy. Glory to signify to heaven. You recognize you are in the midst of a prophet. Receive our prophet as he comes. Right there. You see prophet Lovi has gone on his knee. He has bowed down to uh, Pastor Jamal Bryant. <laughs> Yo, he's passed down. He's actually bowed down to him. So let me just take that back, guys. Yo. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Whenever you see me kneeling in front of a man, it's because I recognize ranking. The issue with the church today is Christians don't understand ranking. They don't understand that they are those who are sent ahead of you because on their shoulders will you grow. And if you don't honor them and respect them and see the quantity and the quality of God in them then you rob yourself of the grace that is inside of you. Amen. Listen, I am gifted by God. I was called by God when I was 6 years old. But despite me seeing Jesus, I always look to see him in his servants beyond what i have experienced Amen. and every time i have looked at my big brother the man of god dr jamal brand i see jesus in a way i have never seen Amen. Amen. so every time i see him i go on my knees because not only do i honor the lord that is in him but i also honor the elder that he is to me and my big brother is a great man and I am a partaker of that grace. Amen. The last time I came to new birth, something new was birthed in my ministry. Amen. Things shifted for me. Amen. Yeah, so you've heard, you've heard Prophet Lovi right there confess 
confessing on his relationship with our pastor Jamal with everything you've seen about pastor Jamal <laughs> just think about it he's just confessed there that that is his big bro and he's actually a partaker of the same grace whatever grace that is he's saying that he's also a partaker of that and he's saying that he respects a uh, ranking you know that so, so, so actually that means that um uh you see, it actually means that pastor jamal is his elder in whatever in whatever in whatever category they're talking about so so right there you can also see prophet lovi buying down to prophet uba so uba angel so that is the issue i'm always telling you the issue that i always have with prophet lovi is his association sometimes it's a bit crazy i'm telling you but Yo, it is what it is. Every tree, every seed must bear fruit. Many people in the Church of Jesus Christ today are simply the fruit of lies. You are the full pomegranates and the full oranges and the full watermelons of the liars who have raised you. And that is why you despise those who speak truth. I itch your skin. You hate the sound of my voice. You and your 666 demons. These men are involved in homosexual relationships in church. You're in a church that is headed by a homosexual. You will become overly flirtatious. Don't ever think that sexual spirits will stay within the one where they rest. If a man is lustful, every interaction that he has with the opposite sex will always be lustful. It's those men, as soon as you know them for five minutes, they're making comments about the shape of your body. They're talking about how nice your lips look. You can always hear lust speaking because lust only has a, a few major lines that they use. And then when a man speaks to you like that, you will still interact with him. And pretty soon that lust will attach to you and then he will be saying things and you will be saying things back. And yet both of you claim that you are in the church. Spirits transfer. They jump. I've been saying it here for many years. Spirits are not content with one body. Why should a demon occupy one body when he can have two? Why should he have two when he can have five? Why should he have five when he can have an entire church? With hard work and just a few years in, a homosexual pastor can get the entire church under those spirits. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you will be gay. In a church like that, God isn't sending blessing. The pastor will mightily increase in front of you. And a few people who enter into his private circle and partake of his lifestyle, you will see them burgeoning up. They're usually the ones that will be sent off to create a new church campuses, but you ordinary Joe and Jonetta Schmo, you will sow and sow and sow and sow and sow for 30 years in that church and have nothing much to say for it. Never pay off that mortgage. You'll never own a home. You'll never be anything great because the gay spirit isn't here to bless you. And God is not going to release much. There will be trickles. It's amazing how some of you are in these mega church, mega churches and you're broker than church rats. You can barely make ends meet. And yet you are in these mega, mega churches. The little money that you get, they go into the best fits, the best clothing. Because in that church, they dress at such a level that you would feel embarrassed just going in ordinary clothes. You don't want to stand out. It's a Manolo church. So with barely your rent money in hand, you're setting something in the kitty to get your first, your first pair of Manolos. Wow. That is very very touching right there uh by celestial prophetess you've heard the way she has talked about some of these spirits and actually in some of these churches that uh, we attend and that's why sometimes you find that you're not really seeing any progress in your life so the issue sometimes might be the grace that you're partaking what grace exactly are you are partaking you know because crazy because some of these ministries are just there uh, to exploit people to manipulate people and it's not really about uh, jesus it's not really about jesus yo so this is a it's a very it's a quite heartbreaking video it's a quite heartbreaking video and uh something else maybe you, you've not yet noticed uh where now prophet lovi was also pra preaching in pastor jamal's church that is the new life You've seen the multitudes there. You can just imagine the number of people in that uh, in that church, yo. It's 
quite a lot quite a lot of people but uh as i always say i'm not a judge that is not the work i do i'm not a judge i just bring it out to you and uh you be your own judge you decide whatever you choose to decide mine is just to uh, reveal it just to reveal it is just to show it just the way it is and just to call it out the way it is but you be your own judge whatever you decide that is that is on you it's you and uh it's just you to decide i'll just bring it and sh- share it with you the way it is yours but i'll i like to hear what you think about this right there in the comment section uh what do you think about this 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 one has really broken my heart especially the last part here from celestial let me just uh bring this back as we wrap it up this video take of his lifestyle you will see them burgeoning up they're usually the ones that will be sent off to create new church campuses but you ordinary joe and jonetta schmo you will sow and sow and sow and sow and sow for 30 years in that church and have nothing much to say for it never pay off that mortgage you'll never own a home you'll never be anything great because the gay spirit isn't here to bless you and God is not going to release much. There will be trickles. It's amazing how some of you are in these mega church, mega churches and you're broker than church rats. You can barely make ends meet. And yet you are in these mega, mega churches. The little money that you get, they go into the best fits, the best clothing. Because in that church, they dress at such a level that you would feel embarrassed just going in ordinary clothes. You don't want to stand out. It's a Manolo church. So with barely your rent money in hand, you're setting something in the kitty to get your first, your first pair of Manolos. I don't, I don't have anything to say. I'm lack of, I'm short of words right now. So yeah, subscribe if you haven't. I'd like to hear what you think about this right there in the comment section. Stay blessed.